Today's episode of Dill Nan the Science Man is brought to you by the essential question, what are the properties of matter? Dill Nan's objective of the day is compare and contrast the basic properties of solids, liquids, and gases such as mass, volume, color, texture, and temperature. All right, boys and girls, stay tuned to this week's episode of Dill Nan the Science Man. Dill, Dill, Dill! the science man and today we're going to be talking about density 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 do you know what density is density is the measure of how closely packed matter is in an object the more compact the molecules are the higher the density the less compact the molecules are the less density did you know that well now you know for today's lesson Students are going to measure the volume and mass of 10 different density cubes. All the density cubes have the same volume, but different mass because they're made out of different materials. They're going to use these measurements to calculate density. Then they're going to figure out which density cube has the highest density and which density cube has the lowest density and which density cubes will float in water and which ones will sink. Each table group will get a set of density cubes for their measurements. In the set, there includes an aluminum density cube, AL, a steel density cube, FE, a brass density cube, BR, a copper density cube, CU, oak density cube, acrylic density cube, nylon density cube, PVC density cube, pine density cube, poplar density cube. The students will also get a balance for measuring mass that includes already a set of known masses. In each group's bin, they will have a one yellow 20 gram mass, two green 10 gram masses, four five gram masses, and five one gram masses a ruler for measuring the volume of the density cubes, and a metal 20 gram mass. They will receive a calculator and pencil for calculating density. Each group will receive a recording sheet for writing down their measurements and calculations and answering a few questions about density. One thing students need to know before doing this lab is that you can calculate density using a mathematical formula. The formula is density equals mass divided by volume. If you know the mass of an object and you know its volume, all you have to do is mass divided by volume. For example, if we measure the mass of this density cube and we figure it out to be 20 grams and we measure its volume and and we find that it's 10 cubic centimeters, that would simply be 20 grams divided by 10 cubic centimeters. 20 divided by 10, that's two. And the unit we use is grams per cubic centimeter. We combine the two. Another thing the students will need to know is a little refresher course on how to measure and calculate the volume of a cube. So what I've done is I've I've drawn a big blown up version of our density cubes up here on the board and I'll show you how to do it. First of all, the beautiful thing about a cube is all the sides are equal. So you only have to measure one side and all the other sides you know will be exactly the same measurement. So we would take our density cube, we would take our ruler, and we're gonna use the centimeter side always. Start at one, make sure you're on the one, and all you have to do is measure one of the sides, just like this. And let's say we find that one of the sides is exactly 1.5 centimeters long. Now we know that all the sides on the cube would be 1.5 centimeters long. So we just have to plug that number into the formula for calculating volume of a cube. The formula is volume equals side times side times side. And this is for a cube. So then we would plug in the numbers 1.5 centimeters times 1.5 centimeters times 1.5 centimeters. I'll show you how to do it on a calculator. On the calculator, you would simply punch in the length that you measured on the density cube. 
For this example, we're pretending that it's 1.5. So you would punch in 1.5 times 1.5 times 1.5 equal sign, and the calculator prints our answer, which is 3.375 cubic centimeters. We're gonna keep our numbers all the way to the thousands place. That's as far as you need to go today, to the thousands place. In the thousands place, that would be the five in 0.375. That's as far as you need to go today. The beautiful thing about this assignment is the density cube set has density cubes that all have the same volume. So once you measure the volume of one density cube, you know that all of them have exactly the same volume. So on your answer sheet, you can simply put the same volume for all the cubes. In our example, it was 3.375. So you would put 3.375 on your answer sheet going straight down for every single cube. Now remember, this is just an example. On your real recording sheet, you're gonna have a different volume than 3.375, but you would keep writing the same number going straight on down for all 10 cubes. Now that the students have measured and calculated and written down the volume of all 10 density cubes, it is time to measure the mass of each one of these density cubes and record the mass on the sheet. We are gonna use a balance to measure the mass of each of these density cubes. But before you use the balance, you always zero it out, which means you press the top blue button on top and slide the white slider behind until the needle sets right in the middle with two empty, empty balance trays. Now that the balance has been balanced out, we're gonna measure the first cube, which happens to be the aluminum cube. So Luke is gonna set the aluminum cube in one of the trays of the balance. And Emily is going to grab some known masses and put it in the opposite tray of the balance. That's a one gram mass, two grams, three grams. We might wanna to move to a bigger mass. We have a blue five gram mass. And remember, we're trying to get that needle right in the middle. Another five gram mass. And we keep going until that needle is right in the middle. Now that the balance has been balanced out, what we're gonna do is take out the known masses and put them in a pile on the table and count them up. Let's pretend that the mass of the aluminum density cube was 56 grams. You would write 56 grams on your paper for aluminum. Next, you would need the calculator one more time. Now you have the mass and you have the volume of the aluminum cube. Remember, these numbers are just pretend numbers, but you would punch these numbers in the calculator to calculate density. First, you type in the mass, which in this case would be 56, divide by sign, and then punch in your volume. In this case, 3.375. 3.375 equal sign. Now, this is a pretty big number. Remember I said we're only gonna go to the thousands place. On your paper, you would just write 16.592, and the units are already there for you. The unit would be grams per cubic centimeter. So in this fictitious example, aluminum's density would be 16 0.592 grams per cubic centimeter. Next, there'll be a few questions to answer. You'll have all your densities on your sheet and you have to figure out which cube was the most dense and write down the name of the cube, which cube was the least dense and write down the name of the cube. For the next two questions on your answer sheet, you'll have to know this one little fact. We already know the density of water, H2O. The density of water is one gram per cubic centimeter. The density of water is simply put one. These next two questions have to do with which density cubes will float on top of water and which density cubes will sink. And the key is knowing this hint. To float on water, the object would have to be less dense than water. It would have to be less dense than one. Now you're done, but double check. Make sure every member of your group 
wrote their name at the top or on the back of the page. Make sure you have the mass of each of the density cubes. Make sure you have the volume of each of the density cubes. It should be the same number. Make sure you have the density of each of the density cubes. Make sure you have answered all four questions. And then, then my friends, turn the sheet into Dill Nye the Science Man. Now that you're done doing all your measurements with the equipment, you need to make sure it gets put back in the right way. All the density cubes get put back in their labeled spot with their label pointing up for the next group. All of the masses that belong with the ballots go back in their proper hole. All of the plastic masses get put back in the bin. And all the other equipment that you used gets put back in the bin for the next group to use. Dill name the science man. Dill, 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 Dill. Dill name the science man. Yeah.